Scorpio. Welcome to Tarot Readings by Roxby. I am going to do your monthly love reading. It's going to go from July 15th to August 15th, 2018. This is going to be for singles first and then we'll move into couples. Romance Angels card for the overall energy. And then I will be using the Tarot of Sexual Magic. You guys, they are sexually explicit, so if you're really not into that, you should probably um, exit the video. But they are really amazing cards. Okay, Scorpio Singles. July 15th, August 15th, 2018. I hope you're all doing well, Scorpio. Scorpio Singles. Scorpio. Scorpio, those of you that like to get a private reading, connect with me on Facebook, Instagram, for dailies, per element, instant go, if you would like a question answered, links to everything that you guys need are right below the video in the description box. Scorpio. Scorpio Singles. And if the reading doesn't resonate, watch your moon and your venus signs scorpio scorpio singles okay Queen of Pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, The Fool, Aries, and the Knight of Chalices, Knight of Cups, Singles, Express Your Love, Singles, Listen, Heavy Love Stuff for You Guys. The Knight of Cups, you definitely have someone coming in with a very, very romantic, emotional offer, a love offer. They are definitely very attracted to you. Water sign energy here. This could be you, Scorpio, offering, offering this. Or another water sign. The Queen of Pentacles, some of you are trying to connect with an Earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. But unfortunately, they are not interested. Like, this is someone that is very focused on the future, focused on their career. And others of you with the Fool are walking away from an Aries. Or you're meeting an Aries. You're also walking away from your past. You know, it's very interesting. If you if you are the one trying to pr pursue someone, they have absolutely no idea, Scorpio. They are totally oblivious. They're, they're, you know, this earth sign is very much just looking to the future. And some of you could be dealing with an Aries that has earth in their chart or vice versa. But someone that is kind of really on their own now that could be you if you're female if you are the female with Aries in your chart Aries and earth in your chart but there is absolutely someone coming in to pursue you and it's a new beginning for real like they're definitely coming in to express They're feeling definitely, you know, this is absolutely a romantic gesture, straight up. Beautiful. It's very, very nice. A new beginning. If you are the one pursuing this, let's see what's going to come out of it. Let's just see here. Let's start right with the Fool. The Fool for Scorpio Singles. Okay, definitely this one. 
Why are we nervous about this? You're nervous about this new beginning. It could be for some of you, maybe you just got divorced or you just broke up with someone. You know, but you're doing it. You're moving forward. It's a new beginning. You're ready to be single. Queen of Pentacles. Strength card reverse. Some of you could be dealing with a Leo. Or you are so fearful to ask someone out. Like you think you think they're too focused on their job, career. Maybe it's someone that you're focused on at the job. You could have Leo in your chart and you feel like they're not going to accept. Like you're just not feeling confident about it. Or they aren't. You could have a Leo trying to pursue you as a single person. And you have Earth in your chart. Let's look at the Knight of Cups. Knight of Pentacles reversed. Definitely, definitely Earth energy coming, coming to pursue you. And you have, you have the male and the female Earth sign energy. And you have Aries and Leo. You definitely have someone that's intimidating coming in. Definitely, you know, the, I mean, definitely intimidating this person is. Might be your boss or someone at work. They seem like they're only focused on the job or whatever. Others of you are really scared to start over. Definitely. I mean, like really scared to, to take that, that, that risk, that leap of faith. Or you're really scared to to ask somebody out. But this this definitely feels like new energy that's absolutely coming in. That really is going to express how they feel or you're going to do this. It's not too bad, singles. Not at all. Alright, let's look at you couples. Bold Scorpios, July nineteenth, July fifteenth. Clear this deck. Scorpio couples, July fifteenth to August fifteenth. Lovers reversed. Sign of Gemini. Three of Pentacles reversed. Ace of Wands. Very interesting. Scorpio couples. Scorpio couples. July 15th, August 15th. Pay 
attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. Okay, couples. Um, where do I want to start here? The lovers. Um, you guys are definitely dealing with a pretty tough third-party situation. Sign of Gemini here. You have Earth Energy, Virgo Taurus Capricorn, and you have Aries Leo Sag in the future. Some of you ended a relationship and you're ready to be single with the lovers and the Ace of Wands. Definitely three-party situation here. Done. Others of you left a third-party situation. Like, you found out and you're ready to start over. Others of you, this is, this is really messed up. It's a really messed up thing here, Scorpio. This is usually a very big love card. Really being in love. But because this is definitely a third party situation that's over, this is reversed. But Scorpio, someone is pregnant. Pregnant. And they have fire in their chart. And I really get the feeling that someone got someone pregnant while they were with you and you dumped their ass. You have Aries Leo Sag and you have Gemini and Virgo Taurus Capricorn. Or it's a situation where you want to start over and your partner is pregnant, and that's why you're staying together. It definitely could be something like that. Now, you don't have to be married for this to be true. But I'm not getting this third party any longer. Let's clarify it. to the three of pentacles. I need to clarify it all, really, honestly. Three of pentacles. I don't know this card. Lovers. Okay, um, all right, this is your air sign, your Gemini with the lover's card. Someone got out of their head probably recently, just ended a partnership. This is only if you're dealing with a Gemini, okay? The Knight of Wands and the Three of Pentacles... This is dealing with no love, no sex, nothing. Unfortunately, it's just not happening. This, someone was depressed, a fire sign, Aries Leo Sag. I feel like a fire sign was being consoled because they were depressed with their situation. And someone's pregnant. Eight of Cups. Okay. All right. Whoever was married or partnered, they were not on the same page. Which is why you have this weirdness here. 
But that's what happens. That This is literally what happened. Someone got consoled. And it could have been where people were married. They ended up in bed together. I'm just saying because this is what's here. I see it. And they got pregnant. Others of you, the lovers, the four of swords, you did not go for this Gemini. Did not go for this, this third party. And then others of you just have no, there's no love here. There's no sex. This is a terrible, terrible Scorpio reading for couples. Like, I'm being very honest. This is what it is. This is what I see. And it is a very tough month for you couples. I'm so, so sorry. But, and you know, the signs are here, though, Scorpio. Like, I think some of you definitely saw this coming. But singles, you guys look amazing. Couples, I, I don't even know what to do. I mean, this is it. That's the story. It ends there. Maybe, you, you know, you, you and your partner got into a fight. Regardless of the fact. Someone was definitely depressed, got consoled. They ended up in bed together and they got pregnant. Unbelievable. What a reading. Guys, if it didn't resonate, please watch your moon or your Venus sign. Um, but I hope, you know, definitely it was meant for somebody, that reading. Leave your comments. Very interesting. All right, Scorpio. I hope you guys have a great month. I will see you guys back here with the weeklies. Hopefully they will be much better. I love you guys. Take care. I'll see you back here soon. Bye-bye.